Uh, split repair L's are designed to seal leaks in an elbow, whether it be a 90 degree, uh, 45 degree, or a field bend. Um, the other thing that we've been involved with quite often is on J-tube risers, which are on the bottom of the riser coming up in the seabed. They're usually uh, 3D or 5D bends. On some large diameter risers, such as a 20, 24 inch, that gets to be an extremely large piece of, of a sweep to try to encompass. We have the capability with XYZ axis machines to be able to make a wedge, a shorter wedge type elbow to seal a certain radius of these J-tube risers. You know the elbow, of course, in a transmission line, the elbow is where you get the most wear. Our experience has been that there are some unusual forces that are caused when you pressurize the outside of an elbow. It's not like pressurizing the outside of a straight pipe. There's some unusual forces that cause that elbow to tend to straighten, try to straighten up. We're aware of these. We're the only ones that I know of that have figured out how to calculate these forces, how to calculate the differences and provide a clamping element on our elbows to grip the pipe and keep it from moving so you don't have these issues. When you have a problem in an elbow, there isn't a better design fitting out there that will provide the long-term solution you need for that situation.